This is the Proto One build of the Torch Height controller. It's based on Arduino. Uh, it's actually the third hardware design for voltage sensing, but this is the, the first Proto in terms of a, a box, so it's pretty crude. Um, you can see there are five buttons. This is the mode button. The red are voltage up and voltage down. Uh, the black is menu and cancel. Okay, now we will power it up and you'll see the splash screen. And this is the default cutting display. There are three modes for the device. This is um, ready to cut or enabled, the ENA. Uh, the next mode is disabled. Uh, when it's disabled, it, it won't do anything with any of the signals. And since the, the uh, torch on goes through the controller, you can't actually cut. The next mode is bypass is a mode that allows you to cut and the, the torch height controller won't do any control however it will keep track of use life on the disposables and the T is the torch display and the A is the arc good status um, and now when it's cutting it would show the actual voltage reading okay this is the primary display for use when you're you're cutting um, T is torch zero means there's no torch on request currently a is zero, which means there's currently no arc good from the plasma. Uh, when the torch on comes from the CNC, the T will change to one. When the plasma says the arc is good, it will change to one. Uh, right now, the target voltage is 622, and I'm not currently using voltage, but analog counts because that has better resolution. Um, and when we're actually running, you would see a voltage for now, where it says now. Uh, the ENA means it's enabled. There are three displays for that. ENA, um, cut when you're actually cutting and there's a, a cruise if you want to use the cruise control feature. The two dashes on the second line indicate when you're sending a torch up or torch down signal. It will either say up, down, or have the dashes. There is a menuing system available that has a lot of functionality. If you press the menu button, um, the first option is usage, so if we press select again, uh, it will show you the use time. This is currently zero because I was just testing the reset. It will show you the number of times you started the pilot arc, the number of times you've done a plunge, and, and what I use for that is just how, how many times do you get an arc good signal. So the difference between those two may not be worth uh, accounting for, but for now I'm checking both. Um, it saves all your configuration in the flash. Uh, there is a, a really high number that's a limit to flash writes, but I track that. Um, and it can use different blocks of memory. And right now it's saying it's using block zero in the flash to store all the data. Um, you have the ability to reset the, the usage count on the tip and reset the flash. This is the cruise control. Uh, I haven't finished implementing this. The idea is that you start cutting and whenever you get it to the voltage you want, you, you tell it to go. Uh, there is a test menu and what this will do is let you test the torch, uh, test all the signals. So test torch on. If we do that, you'll hear the relay click. And that allows you to trigger that output to the torch to see that that works. Uh, you can also trigger the output of the arc good to the CNC. You can trigger the output for the torch up to the CNC and you can trigger the output for the torch down to the CNC. So you're able to check all that functionality. And the last is just the, the, the splash screen information. Um, so that's where the menuing system is now. Like I said, the cruise control is not done yet and the bypass isn't done yet. Um, but those are, are fairly trivial.